Hello, my name is James Clegg. I work for the University of Edinburgh's Talbot Rice Gallery and I'm the curator of Pine's Eye. Pine's Eye is a large group exhibition featuring 12 international artists and running across our distinctive exhibition spaces. As the exhibition is closed due to the 2020 pandemic, I've decided to make a series of videos that explore the work of each of the artists in the exhibition in turn. This week we're going to look at the work of Torsten Lauschmann. Torsten has made a new work for the exhibition, which takes the form of an immersive installation and is called Topery Jig. Torsten really works to create these multi-sensory experiences. He employs projections, lights, sounds, uh, and these incredible automatons that sort of move and enact things. And they're all choreographed together to make these wonderful um, experiential kind of artworks. For us, he's developed this new work, Topery Jig. And I think it's really evolved into something that has this quite um, dark aspect to it as well. This is a work that brings together uh, Dance Macabre, this sort of dance of death, which we'll all witness at one day in our lives, with a sense of contemporary politics, referenced through the many objects that he's used in the display. Torsten has very kindly put together a video describing the development of this piece. Topiary Jig developed from a piece of work which was called War of the Corners from 2008. One motif which kind of reappears in Topiary Jig, the crutch cut into pieces and animated by a string, um, takes the main role of the exhibition. I was trying to find a way to express uh, in a playful but brutal way what it looks like if you cut the support of something which is supposed to be supporting somebody or something or an institution. And it's a direct response to, I guess, thinking about the politics of austerity, but also how the use of technology or the focus on technology and the illusion of progress through technology can be tied in into a kind of playful but hopefully reflective installation. I also want to turn to create an environment through the projections where like a dance of the death. These crutches which dance in a circle kind of surrounded by this imagery or environment or audience or and and respond to events happening on the screen. Um, the title Topiary Chick comes from the idea of again the the, the action of cutting, of pruning, of, of um, cutting a natural development to kind of your own image or the image you have in mind against the natural growth of something. The lasers also work as a way of kind of symbolizing some kind of structure, exactness, there are kind of spirit levels which are used for getting a perfect horizontal vert vertical line for construction work. Interfacing them helped me to kind of use them as some kind of metaphor of kind of restriction for the elements of kind of the cutting and restricting of development, of movement, of progress. There's also um, 
a simmer frame which converted into some kind of chime which is picked up by a mic and the sound it makes its rotation and elements of it kind of bumping into each other creates kind of a long empty narrow industrial reverb which hopefully overall creates kind of the ambience of this dance of the death of these crutches. When Tarson's making these works, he seems to be um, kind of holding in position this incredible whirlpool of different ideas and associations and just really seeing how that plays out within the exhibition space. Other connections is that, that this work has are to things like Morris dancing. So the history of Morris dancing is quite vague in places. And in England, for example, it's quite difficult to root back folk dancers beyond the 15th century. So a lot of different ideas and interpretations of what this dance means and where it comes from. In some accounts, it's, um, it, it derives from this European courtly dance. So Flanders was very influential uh, in the 15th and 16th centuries. And the idea is that the word is actually adopted from the Flemish. Um, but we, we know as well that this has been adopted by different working class communities uh, and that it's been um, interpreted as being this kind of pagan tradition as well. A lot of the forms within Morris dancing suggest some kind of connection or rootedness to nature. The stomping of the feet, for example, uh, is, is said to be a way of uh, encouraging crops to grow. And then the many loops and cycles and circles within the work are a reflection of the change in seasons and the cycles of nature. And another theory that Torsten is really interested in is that actually the word derives from the word Moors. Um, the Moorish were um, Muslim invaders in the Iberian Peninsula. So um, there's this sense that the, the term Morris comes from Moors and it's actually a reflection of this Christian victory over uh, Muslim invaders. So I mean, in, the, in this snapshot of this very complicated history, you can see how there are echoes and reflections of the kind of politics that have emerged within the UK, and I think really across Europe and the rest of the world uh, in recent times. There's a sense of playing with authenticity and rootedness, this sort of dispute over the connectedness to nature, uh, and also then this kind of evangelical strand, this idea that there's something very much about religious and racial conflict underpinning this dance too. soundtrack we've just heard is the sound of supporters of Matteo Salvini at one of this Italian politician's rallies. Matteo Salvini is a, a right-wing politician and he's been a very sort of influential figure in pushing for and supporting popularist politics in Europe. So for the last 10 years he's really campaigned against the European Union. And his policies include things like trying to stop humanitarian aid for asylum seekers, really trying to limit and restrict migration. Uh, and he's also trying to um, profile and wants to remove 
the Roma population in Italy, people who've lived there from, for hundreds of years. So the um, chant that we hear in this, this clip are his supporters uh, shouting, if you don't jump, you're a communist. And they're jumping within this rally. They're bouncing up and down to show that they're part of this popularist movement. So in the context of a work that is about care and a sense of society, I think this, this carries with it a real sense of threat and danger. It adds to the dark, nightmarish um, um, fairy tale aspect of this piece. And I think for me, the, the real draw to Thorsten's work was that it seemed to offer a way of animating and ritualizing the contemporary world. And this is a work that um, has really, I think, proven itself to be very prescient given the 2020 pandemic. If we think about the way that the pandemic has highlighted the NHS and the role of key workers in supporting society and supporting communities. And the way that the pandemic has also uh, highlighted um, perhaps the, um, the, the missed opportunities to better support those systems and to be better prepared for these kind of, of humanitarian disasters. So this, this darkness, this um, I think the, the real power of this work to uh, talk about death and mortality, uh, as well as creating this quite magical experience, really resonates with the times that we're living through.